Okay, we've got the windshield completed now. Now we're going to get up and uh, get the trunk installed onto the back rack here. This is the trunk that came with the bike. Um, on the back here, there's a little button you push to open it. When you open up the trunk, inside you're going to find a bag of hardware. You'll find the keys to lock the trunk. And inside there's also this foam uh, protective cover. Okay, we've unpacked all the hardware that came inside the trunk and this is what it consists of. You have these two metal brackets, you have four screws, four of these cupped washers, you have four nuts, four flat washers, four split washers, and the keys to lock the trunk. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install the, the trunk onto the vehicle. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just gently uh, place the trunk here onto the back rack, remove the foam protective liner, and first thing you want to do is grab the uh, screws, insert them in the uh, cupped washers. Okay, once you get the trunk onto the rear rack, you're going to have to, you can see here there's several holes. Uh, the manufacturer put those holes there so you could locate uh, the ones that line up with the uh, holes in the rack. Uh, on this one, it looks like we could use the back two. So you could go ahead and just drop the screw with the cupped washer inside. And it looks like we could use the two here. So we've got a nice square pattern to hold the trunk tight against the rack. Okay, once you drop the screws in there, you're going to need the bracket and the washers. We're going to do one rail at a time. So uh, this rail goes with the uh, open channel here facing down. The flat part is facing up. And this goes underneath the, uh, the trunk. Okay, so you can see here that the trunk goes on top of the rack. The screws are dropping down. And we're going to go ahead and install the first bracket here. Okay, then we're going to install our flat washer, followed by the split washer, followed by the nut. Okay, we've got the trunk installed. We're going to do the final tightening here. We want to make sure that the the nuts and the hardware here, everything is real snug because these uh, the vibration will have a tendency to uh, rattle the hardware loose. So make sure that you secure this properly. Okay, so we've got our trunk installed now. And the final step is to gas up the scooter, check the oil, check the fluids, check all the hardware on the bike, make sure that everything is tight, check the air pressure, and just do a general uh, safety inspection on the vehicle before you decide to operate it. And uh, we'll go through that starting procedure next.